The world's oceans are still overcome by mystery. While we've traveled across the many seas countless times in the past, the depths of these vast waters are still completely unknown. It's been said that we've explored more areas on the moon than we have of our oceans. To put that into perspective, these same scientists say that the technology used to take us to the moon is far less sophisticated than the technology that would be needed to reach the deepest depths of the oceans. That's completely insane. Because of this, most researchers say that the majority of deep sea animals have likely never been seen or documented before. However, it's not just animals that can be found in the ocean. Human artifacts, shipwrecks, human remains, and so many more mysteries lie buried, just waiting to be rediscovered hundreds or thousands of years later. Some of these items have already been found. So here are some of the most incredible underwater discoveries in the world. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. A Lost Ship This story takes us all the way back to 1921, exactly 100 years ago. A group of sailors who worked with the U.S. Navy had set sail on what was expected to be a routine trip. They left the port of San Francisco and headed out in the USS Conestoga along a predetermined route. However, they would never reach their destination, nor would they ever be seen again. After the ship had not arrived at its destination for several hours, a search mission was started. Workers scoured every square mile of the ship's route, but they couldn't find anything. There was no trace of the ship. It was as though it had disappeared off the face of the earth, or worse, been abducted. For two months, U.S. Navy officials had no idea what had happened to the boat. However, they would soon make a grisly discovery. The USS Senator was traveling more than 100 kilometers away from the USS Conestoga's route when it noticed a lifeboat that had been overturned in the ocean. The crew approached the lifeboat and found that it had been marked with a C on the side, proving it belonged to the ill-fated USS Conestoga. It wouldn't be long before theories would begin to pour in about what may have happened to the boat. Even experts couldn't figure out how the lifeboat had ended up so far away from where the USS Conestoga had been on that fateful day. Though you have to keep in mind, more than two months had passed since the disappearance, so a lot could happen in that amount of time. Regardless of this groundbreaking discovery, we wouldn't learn any more about the fate of the ship for another 88 years. In 2009, a submarine was out on a routine mission when it made a discovery at the bottom of the ocean. It found a boat that had sunk near the Farallon Islands, somewhat close to where the USS Conestoga would have been traveling. It would take another six years before an official investigation would be opened. In 2015, a team of researchers returned to the site and found a ship's cannon and a propeller that matched the equipment used by the Conestoga. We still have no idea what could have happened to the ship or what happened to the crew on board the ship. However, after nearly 100 years, the mystery was solved. The USS Conestoga had simply sunk. A real Atlantis We've all heard about the mysterious city of Atlantis. The city was once one of the most incredible, highly advanced cities in the world. However, seemingly overnight, it vanished from the face of the Earth and was supposedly swallowed by the ocean. Many people consider this story to be a simple myth. However, there's a lot of evidence that proves the lost city of Atlantis may be real. We may touch more on this in a future video, but today I'd like to direct your attention to two Greek settlements known as Tonus Heraklion and Canopus. These two cities were known to have flourished in the first millennium and were two of the most important Greek cities at the time. The cities were so well known that Herodotus, the legendary scholar and historian, mentioned the cities in his chronicles. Also, according to legend, 
Helena, the wife of the Prince of Troy, once visited the city. To say this city was a big deal would be a dramatic understatement. The temples in the city of Tonus Heraklion would bring in visitors from around the world who wanted to connect with their spirituality in ways they had never experienced before. This was one of the most magnificent temples in the world and would bring in visitors from all the corners of Greece. Though what makes this city so unique is that it was swallowed by the ocean without a moment's notice, and so was Canopus. We don't know for sure what caused the cities to disappear, but researchers say that the most likely culprit would have been major earthquakes as well as rising tides or tsunamis. The earthquakes would have paved the way for all sorts of natural disasters that would have caused the cities to flood. As they were being filled with seawater, the residents fled to nearby areas and abandoned their homes and businesses. Before long, both cities were now resting at the bottom of the ocean. The cities would remain there, undiscovered, until the year 2000. Frank Gaudio was the researcher responsible for locating the cities. Much like the city of Atlantis, many people thought these ancient Greek cities would be lost forever, but Frank managed to locate them near Alexandria. As the years pass by, we've sent several research crews to the bottom of the bay to search for remnants of the once prosperous city. We've found jewels, treasure, coins, and so much more over the years. Though Frank says that there's far more to be discovered, he estimates that only 1 or 2 percent of the city has been explored so far, so we still have a lot of ground to cover. A man-made monster The Northmen have always been regarded as being some of the most fearsome and intimidating people of their time. They would use their large size and various weapons to torment the crew of other ships before they would launch attacks against them. Their ferocious demeanor eventually became the trademark of the Vikings, as well as all of the generations that would follow from the lands of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. In 2015, a famous wreck from the Viking era was discovered. This wreck had been rumored for years, but we now had evidence that it actually took place when we found fragments of the ship that had been resting at the bottom of the ocean for more than 500 years. The wreck is estimated to have taken place sometime around 1495. The ship belonged to a fleet of the Danish King Hans. The ship was originally known as Gripschunden, which would roughly translate to Bloodhound or Griffin. The ship had been involved in some sort of accident. It would have been a much more valiant story if the ship had been taken down in a battle, but that doesn't seem to be the case. No, no, no! After careful research of the shipwreck, researchers discovered that the ship had likely caught fire somehow, and the fire quickly grew out of control. It seems a bit ridiculous for a ship to burn to the ground when it's surrounded by water, but this was a fairly common situation all those years ago. While Hans von Denmark was working out an alliance between his people and the people of Sweden, the ship caught fire somehow off the Swedish coast. We don't know if this was a planned attack or a freak accident, but the ship erupted in flames and could not be saved. The ship would remain here off the coast of Sweden until it was rediscovered in 2015. The incredible ship was found in shambles, but fragments of it can now be seen on display in a museum. This remains one of the most impressive pieces of Nordic history to have ever been found. America's History Being Rewritten When we think back to the dawn of humanity, most scientists can agree that Africa is where humans first began to roam the Earth and spread out across the globe. It wouldn't be long before humans would dominate the planet and become a serious force to be reckoned with. For many years, we believed that humans would have first existed on the planet about 10,000 years ago. However, a new discovery in Florida aims to turn this idea on its head, pushing humanity back an additional 2,000 years. 
A group of researchers was excavating the area near the Osula River. This river had already proven to be incredibly important through the 1980s and 1990s, and countless important artifacts had been found there. One great example of their findings was a mammoth tooth that appeared to have human carvings on it. We haven't been able to prove that these carvings would have come from human tools, but many historians believe this is proof that humans have lived in North America for much longer than we previously thought. Though in 2012, the theory was proven once and for all when a set of human bones was found in the area. This caused all of human history to be rewritten, as it now proves that humans have existed on virtually every continent of the world for more than 10,000 years. We don't know for sure that the 12,000-year timeline is accurate, but we know that the bones that were found certainly predate all other bones that have been found in nearby areas or in other parts of the country. If we found incredible pieces of history like this as recently as 2012, just imagine what else could be out there just waiting to be discovered. A British Pompeii The history of one of the oldest Roman settlements lives on in history as one of the most legendary, tragic events to have ever affected Europe. Pompeii was once an incredibly important city. However, Mount Vesuvius unexpectedly erupted and brought an end to the city instantly. This was incredibly tragic and countless people lost their lives, or at the very least, were forced out of their native land. The tragedy that occurred that day has given us incredible insight into the lives of these ancient people that lived there. The ruins of Pompeii remain one of the most important archaeological sites ever discovered. The ruins are so well preserved that we've even found fully petrified humans that were encapsulated in the lava and magma that rained from the mountaintops. Much like the story of Pompeii, a very similar settlement was found in England. The area that is now known as Peterborough was once a super important quarry that would have been popular during the Bronze Age. Many people settled here and built houses, raising their families and starting businesses in the local community. Their houses were built on stilts to keep them safe from water or other disasters that may have threatened the town. The homes were built near the Nene River, so it makes sense that the residents would have been concerned about the possibility of a flood. Though what makes the area interesting is that these were some of the first homes to have ever been built on stilts, and they were built more than 3,000 years ago. However, a fire broke out in the town and it seems like everyone evacuated their homes instantly. This means that many of their personal belongings have been sealed in ash for thousands of years, giving us a clear view into the daily lives of these people from all those years ago. We found jewels, prized possessions, and even perfectly preserved meals. We don't have any idea why a fire would have broken out. But researchers say the city would have once been incredibly wealthy. It's possible a natural disaster led to the fire, or an unexpected military attack brought the city to its knees. We just don't know for sure. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.